I really don't know whether this also happens to you. But majority of the time I get to pay people to file nail returns on my behalf. Not knowing that it is a very simple process that will cost much less if I did it on my own. People make it seem so hard to file nail returns and I am very ashamed not to have taken enough time to do research and save my coins back in the days. Lucky for you, I have taken time out of my day to show you how to file KRA nail returns as a student or someone who is not yet employed. But before we get into today's mission, make sure you smash that subscribe button because I post so much helpful content in this channel. You might learn one next time. So make sure you smash it to get recommended more videos just like this one and of course boop the like button if you haven't already if you get a ton of help from this video without wasting much of our time let's get straight into the video now this is very simple go to google as you always do while searching for anything type on kra itax and a page that looks like this will open tap on itax kra and a page like this will be displayed for you written kenya revenue authority itax and everything i tend to believe that everyone watching this video right now has a kra pin or a pin number or user id something of that sort it is always so much numbers mixed with some letters so it is like alphanumeric kind of thing yeah so make sure you have that uh, you'll see me typing mine in there Press on continue and a page will display and that page we need a password and we have a virtual keyboard where you need to do some arithmetic in order to just verify that you are really a real human being. I don't know what that is for. In case you've forgotten your password, be sure to go a little bit down below the display box and press on forgot password just down there. After that, this page will be displayed. You have to enter a security stamp. I really hate mathematics. Kerry is making me hate mathematics even more. Oh my God. What are these arithmetics for? Oh God. That's that. And our password will now be emailed to our email. Did I say the right thing? <laughs> now go ahead and refresh your page. Enter your PIN again. We are going through the same process. And after that, you will have to verify the email. You will have to verify the password that was personally sent to your email by KRA. And then you will reset another password that you you can easily remember by yourself. Something of that sort. But anyway, I always forget all my passwords. Oh God. Thank you, Google. Google always saves the day. <laughs> you also have to agree to the KRA website policy and guidelines for secure password policy. If you don't agree to those terms, you won't be able to move to the next thing. I mean, obviously, it's a no-brainer. If you clearly remembered your password, then this is the page you are likely to land on. Go straight to return, then file nail return. Right below the taxpayer pin, there is tax obligation. Tap on the drop-down menu and then click on income tax resident then click on next whatever gets displayed just click on submit and then voila you're done once that is done a return receipt will be generated you can now download your return receipt and this is how it will look like hoping you got a ton of help from this video if you did make sure you subscribe down below turn on post notifications so you don't miss my next upload and of course like the video if you got ton of help from it and i will see you guys in my next video